Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to loop music using C++. So this is a direct follow-up to how to play music in C++. There's an eye up in the corner if you want to watch it. You don't need to for this tutorial though, but it's there if you want it. So let's get into how we do it. So, include the following libraries here. We also need to do pragma comment lib winmm.lib, as we need to link the Windows Multimedia Library with our program. And firstly, we are going to do stdc out looping music to tell the user we're looping music. Then we're going to do play sound text, the name of our WAV file that we want to loop. Just a heads up, this will only work for WAV files and on the Windows operating system. Then we want to do null, snd file name, line, snd async, line, snd loop. So let's break this down. So play sound is going to play a WAV file. Our first parameter is going to be the name of the sound file to be played. It is passed as a string literal wrapped in the text macro to ensure proper handling of the Unicode and ANSI characters depending on the build settings of our program. Then we're going to pass in a null. This argument is used to specify the module handle of the executable file that contains the sound resource to be played. Since we are using a file path as a sound source, we set this to null. After that we do snd file name because we are using a file path to tell play sound where the audio is. snd async means when this is playing, the thread that we're playing this on can continue to do other stuff, unlike in the previous tutorial where we used sync, meaning this thread couldn't do anything else while we were playing the sound, and it would wait for the sound to finish, then go on to play the next sound. Because we're looping, we can't do sync because we would have a program that loops forever then. So you can only do snd async for loops. And then we do snd loop because we're looping stuff. And that's great, but we need to do more because right now our program would just close. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do std string input, we're going to make a little variable, and then we're going to do std get line, std c in, and input. So this, these two lines of code basically just get user input, and we can just hit enter to trigger this. So, essentially, since this is async, we're going to execute code that's after this line of code even when the sound is playing. However, if we just if we do get line, we are going to be making the program wait for user input while it's playing this sound. So, next we do play sound 000, as this is going to stop sounds that are playing in the same thread we're doing this function so it's going to end up stopping the sound we are looping. After that, we are going to do stdc out music over, std get line, std c in input. We're just going to get the user input again and also inform them that the music is over. So we're going to save our work. And in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in File Explorer, and go to your project here, which will have your debug, your folder, which is the name of your project, and then the sln file. And there's a debug folder here. This will only appear after you've run your program at least once, so just hit play and this will be generated. This is where your program runs by default, it's got the exe, and this is where our file path is. The file path could be whatever you want, but we've got it literally sitting right next to our exe file, so we can just do the file name and no folders. Let's hit play. So this is the Quagsire cry from the earlier Pokemon games. It's a very short sound that we can loop. So we're going to hit enter. Music over. We'll hit enter again and then the program's finished. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for watching.